um, they have unpredictable rage explosions out of nowhere. Um, and then suddenly after that explosion, then they are affectionate to you and you feel that you're walking on eggshells all the time. They denied something that you know is true and that had happened, which is called gaslighting. And this in time will compromise your own sanity because you will start questioning your memory or just simply your memory is not going to work well anymore. The neither abuse and then accuse you to be the abuser. Emotional neglect and isolation. This is when they shut down, stonewall you, and you will be punished by being ignored. They dehumanize you. They will stare at you like you're not even there. When you're talking or crying, they will change the subject or interrupt the conversation or simply ignore you and walk away. So I want you to recognize also the cycle. So there's cycles and um, it's really interesting because when you observe cycles, then you can understand what's coming next. So to be prepared, first, there's peaceful times. Then the discussion starts growing, starts getting impossible. Start, you start walking on eggshells. Then there's a the big explosion. And after that, there's the honeymoon. Everything is sweet and kind and peaceful. And then again, you'll be trapped in that circle of peaceful times. Then starts getting uncomfortable. He starts getting angry at things. He starts pushing you, your buttons. He starts doing all these things that hurt you. Then there's a big explosion and it's all yourself to blame. And after that explosion, when you feel that everything is intolerable, there's a honeymoon again. And this can go for years. So I'm going to explain you how this gets you hooked like a powerful drug. This is called trauma bonding. And trauma bond is described by neuroscientists like stronger than being hooked in a powerful drug. You will have the same effects. Your brain reacts exactly the same, needing that mistreat. If you don't know how to explain people, why are you staying in that relationship that hurts you so much? If you don't know how to tell your friends, now you know. And they will not understand you because you need to be in this drug to be able to understand how powerful it is. This trauma bond is stronger than love. This trauma bond is really hard to break. And this is what creates codependency. Now, I have to say, this is Stockholm Syndrome trauma bond and it creates PTSD. So we're not talking about something so simple. We're talking about something that you need to understand. And you need to understand that this is not your fault, that you are thrown from one place to the other with kindness, with love, and suddenly with mistreat and hate. And trauma bonding, it's a hard thing to get over with. But guess what? We can do this. If I could, you can. So let's say this codependency that your brain had created and being in this drug that is the abuser. The abuser is your drug and you are codependent. So you're unhappy, but you fear any other alternative. You understand and you are seeing that you're neglecting your family, your children, your friends to please your abuser, or you're neglecting your friends and family and and everybody else because you're submerged in depression. You prefer living in a state of hopelessness and darkness than being alone. And it's not your fault. This is codependency. This is what abuse does to you. It's not your fault. Suddenly, after several uh, months or years, you start seeing yourself through abuser's eyes. You start thinking that it's your fault. And if you try to stand up for yourself, he will make you feel guilty or pay for it. You start believing that you deserve this treatment. You start thinking that it's all your fault and that you are guilty. And because of that feeling of feeling guilty, then you believe that you're so bad that nobody is gonna love you anymore. That is how an abusive relationship works. But because we are going to 
unlabel and untag what we have done and what others have done to us, now we are going to break free. Because all of this is just an invention. It's not reality. You need to know that recovering from this abuse, it can feel so exhausting. But let me tell you, yes, you can. And you're going to feel more powerful than ever. Because going through this and having gone through all this pain and surviving, it makes you a warrior. And you can also teach others how to get out of this. So ladies, congratulations. We are those warriors. And we're going to change this world.